Since you were at the old plot, you saw the demo part of the wire trellis with the full-grown plant in it. So we have a wire trellis system and a post system, the standard, the what most of the old plot that you're in is set up with. So we are going to try to keep it at about five feet high instead of six feet at the old plot for, like myself, vertically challenged. So when you're harvesting and pruning, you're not standing on a ladder or a bucket. Keep things more manageable, like uh, avocado is gone towards being lower, less ladders, safer. Um, in this trial, like I said, so we have the uh, posts with the baskets, which just if you imagine like the other plot, the rebar, the basket, and the plants are going to grow up into it, mushroom out, and the wire like a hedge system. So we'll be, like you see here, taping it, training it to go up the wire. And have to be six hoses going down each row so we can manage that. Randomized, so the first one could be the highest irrigation level, the next one could be the lowest. It's just a random number generator. And we have it mapped out. We've done some other work showing how much a 30% moisture loss that's about on a decomposed granite, so that's about 20 to 25. The more clay you get, the higher the number will be a little bit. So that's still got to be worked out. And that's very similar to what we're going to be with Romero doing here too. Uh, the watermarks are hooked up to a water monitor so we can program it to constantly take readings. Instead of coming out here manually to take the reading, the water monitor will do it for us automatically. Whether it's every hour, every two hours, whatever Romero wants to try to set it for, we will do. It could be every hour, and then he really only wants every six hours. By the third one, you'll get one of the watermark readings. This reading the 12, and the other one's reading the 16. So, and the 16 is the shallower one, so yes, it is getting drier on top, and the moisture is still down below. It hasn't evaporated out yet. 